Hey, good afternoon. Sorry about the delay. I had a, I have old knob and tube wiring in this house, and I had I had a uh, I had a time delay fuse I had to replace. So now, in the following exercises, you will uh, open a, a Revit file and create a DWFX file uh, for review. Now, just I want you to remain patient because now this has changed a bit um, since the text was written, and it changes every single day. So, um, with the advent of uh, the new cloud platforms and their interoperability with other software platforms. This is a bit anti antiquated, but the general sense of the workflow remains the same. It does remain the same because of the deployment of the platforms in the field and what these individual organizations are using to convey these models and their design intent back to the origin, uh, the originators for review, collaboration, and uh, pricing, uh, and change orders, and, and credits, and, 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 and those things. Uh, so. Um, it's a little bit off, but it doesn't uh, alleviate us from being able to, pr uh, to proceed with the exercise. So now, if you open the uh, C20 sample building start drawing, and you go to File, and you go to uh, Export, um, you can now export uh, different uh, CAD formats. Now, very prevalent in the AEC industry, obviously, is some of the legacy platforms. Uh, that have become intuitive to some of the users. Uh, as you can see, we have DWG, DXF, DGN, uh, ACIS, SAT. And again, these are Bentley products, uh, Autodesk products. Uh, there are some uh, uh, Dassault system products. And, and you're going to have to discern uh, exactly uh, which platform you're going to be exporting um, these out to uh, your uh, favorite trippy. So in any event, we're just going to do D DXF for design review. So when you hit that, you can see a dialog box pops up. And in the context of that, uh, click the new uh, set icon at the top of the list of views and name the set Mastering uh, mastering Sheets. And as you can see, um, the button moved around a little bit. But we just hit here and we go uh, Mastering mastering Sheets. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, we'll just use it again. I actually created it already. So we have Mastering Sheets. Once you create, a, create the set, you will see a new drop-down list appear in the dialog box. You can use it to control which views are displayed in the view list. From the Show in List drop-down, select Sheets in the model, and then select Sheets A1 and uh, A101 and A102. Sheets in the model. That's huge. Right, you could send them with just use, and then it's another story. Uh, okay, so that being said, uh, these sheets will be uh, added to the set to be published. You can sort the list of views by any of the columns by clicking the column header. Try this by clicking the name header. To check the export size, and this is where it deviates from center, select the DWF properties tab and click the print setup button. In the resulting dialog box, you can set explicit sizes for your export. This is important, and I, I, hmm, part of me doesn't want to give this away to you because of your resistance to the workflow process that I, I had instilled. Uh, I'm still a bit perturbed. Uh, I, I, I actually, I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll, I'll hold this. Uh, Bullet, bullet number five, bullet item number five, uh, and, and let you know that if you're going to utilize AutoCAD MEP uh, and, you, and you're going to go with its native uh, AutoCAD uh, inherent uh, habits and, and not migrate into the navigation portion of the uh, tool that's available to you, and you're going to continue to utilize your external referencing structure uh, the way that you do, uh, you're going to find that um, you're going to trip faster than others. Now, and it's, it's a continued workflow in the workplace, and who am I to change it? So, again, to so check the export size, it's, uh, select the DWF Properties tab and click the Print button, Print Setup button. In the resulting dialog box, you can set explicit sizes for your export. Click the Option, Use Sheet Size to automatically detect sheet sizes based on the title blocks you're using in the project. That uh, passage doesn't exist in Revit 2020. Or, uh, 
programmed into the code. It's a, it's a new workflow. It's a new process. New technique. This dialog box mirrors the one used for printing. Click Next and specify the name of the file and the location to which to save it. Make sure you check the box to combine all sheets into a single DWF, uh, DWFX file. And we've talked about this earlier with the DWG exports. This follows the same workflow identically to a certain extent. Now, again, in the design phase, we may not want to short the folks out. So, again, let me hit next and you'll see what I mean. We'll get this dialog box. And you, you see how it can uh, make export views on sheets and links to external references. And you'll see that there's files of type. And you'll see that there's an automatic long specify, uh, specified prefix. And then an automatic short. So let's just leave it at that. And you can see it's uh, sample C20, sample building start. And we're just going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to go back to this ellipsis button. I just want to point something out to those of you that haven't written this off as a diatribe of the madman. Take a look at that right there. Take a look at that. Cancel that. And hopefully uh, you weren't paying attention. Now, again, let's leave this as let's leave, let's leave it as long as we can, shall we? So I'm just going to name it that. I'm going to name it that. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, now, if you'd like, what you could do is uh, open the published DWFX file in Autodesk Design Review, choose the markup and measure tab, and then add a few comments and markups on the A101 sheet. Using the shapes and, and draw tools on this tab, you can add clouds, arrows, and text to insert your comments to, or, or changes into the drawings. This can be done in a variety of colors and line weights to give them extra visibility on the page. Once all your changes are created, save the file and it will retain all your changes. Figure that out for yourselves shows an example of a markup. Now, I will, because I have Design Review on here. And Design Review is a fantastic tool, but again, with BIM 360 and BIM 360 Docs and BIM 360 Design, and every, every, every iteration is, is, is going to take a new name. But again, the workflow process um, is, is designed to help you in instances. And again, if it's not your, if it's not your intent to uh, further yourself, and stay in the know and stay within the, uh, with the context of the workflow, you're going to uh, have a bit of a problem with it. So, again, I may digress a little bit from, from center here, but we have to understand that uh, this is a dynamic process. And in any dynamic process, there are going to be changes and revisions along the way, not only to the project, but also to the tools uh, to enhance them and augment them and make them better. Again, uh, would you rather cut wood with a handsaw uh, maybe you would, if you'd rather cut wood with a handsaw as opposed to a skill saw, then it's your prerogative. It's your prerogative. So let's go to A101. As you can see, uh, it creates a PCP file. Now, design review is a program that you can download for free from Autodesk. That's not the only DWFX viewer, just to let you know. It's not the only DWFX viewer. So, it may behoove you to uh, go to the website and uh, change uh, your uh, software platform to uh, best acclimate yourself to uh, the uh, the new environment that you're working within.